Hey what's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over some interesting PlayStation news. The first topic in the video is about a new rumor regarding the PS5 Pro. Reading from PlayStation Universe, PS5 Pro will reportedly launch by 2024, will bring significant improvements in specs over standard PS5. Sony's as yet unannounced PS5 Pro will offer significant improvements in terms of performance and specs over the standard version of the console, according to reports posted by Red Gaming Tech. The report also claims that the PS5 Pro will launch by 2024, although Sony hasn't announced anything about the new console yet, so take this info with a pinch of salt. In terms of performance, it will reportedly offer a better experience for PSVR titles, while ray tracing will deliver two and a half times the punch than the vanilla version achieves. Elsewhere, PS5 Pro is also reportedly set to utilize TSMC's 5 nanometer process, which is used by Zen 4 cores and is designed for high performance computing. A separate source also claims that TSMC's 4 nanometer process will be employed for the console instead. The report about a 2024 release matches a previous rumor about PS5 Pro, which pegged the console for a late 2024 launch. Sony hasn't even announced the PS5 Pro yet, but given the company's history, it's very likely to happen in the next couple of years. So yeah, I mean, I'm not going to dive into the specs in this article of like the nanometers and all that stuff because I am going to be honest, I have no idea. I'm not that tech savvy. You know, so if any of you guys watching this video do know about that stuff, feel free to let me know down in the comment section. So yeah, I mean, obviously we've heard reports of Sony, you know, working on a PS5 Pro. Now, I mean, this shouldn't be shocking to anyone. You know, obviously we got a PS4 Pro in the last generation. And I fully expect, as I'm sure most of you guys do, that, you know, we will be getting a PS5 Pro at some point in the future. You know, and this report is saying that like maybe by the end of 2024, which will be in, you know, in two years from now. So I could totally see that. But one thing that makes me kind of question that is because, you know, we're still going through this world pandemic that's affecting, you know, chip supplies, you know, and it's like a major shortage in the whole entire world, not just across like, you know, the PlayStation, but the Xbox and just tech like everywhere, you know, so honestly, you know, I do think like we will get more supply for the PS5 as this year goes on, especially going into next year. You know, so I do believe that like a PS5 Pro could launch like towards the end of 2024, you know, and an earlier report was, was saying like, you know, maybe Sony won't make a PS5 Pro. They'll just go straight to the PS6, you know, and I don't know if I really believe that. You know, I really do think that probably in a couple years, they will release a PS5 Pro. You know, now, honestly, I feel like they probably will launch like a PS5 Slim as well, because, you know, for those of you who have the PS5, like in person, like, you know, you know, whether it's the disc model or the digital one, like it is a massive console. You know, it's like one of the biggest consoles that's ever been made. So, I mean, I could see like a a beefier version you know but i also do expect like a slim version so what do you guys think down below let me know how you feel about apparently sony is getting ready to make a ps5 pro and they might be launching it towards the end of 2024 moving on to the next topic in the video we're going to be going over some very good news when it comes to something that herman hall said Reading from PlayStation Universe, PlayStation will always develop single player narrative based games, says Herman Hulst. Herman Hulst, head of PlayStation Studios, has reassured gamers that the format holder will still develop single player narrative based games despite the company's plans to diversify its output with live service titles following acquisitions of Bungie and Haven Studios. Quote, obviously we will always carry on making these single player narrative based games such as Ghost of Tsushima, The Last of Us, and Horizon Forbidden West. But you've spotted correctly that we have invested in live service games because that's incredibly exciting for us. It allows us to build larger worlds that allows us to create really meaningful social connections between players. We have quite a few now in development or conceptualization, so yes, we are setting up capabilities internally, but exactly for that reason, it is so exciting for us to welcome to the family a group of people who have a lot of experience with live service games, unquote. So yeah, this is very good news. You know, obviously, you know, when it comes to gaming, I am much more of a single player story driven game like i laid more towards that side 
than you know multiplayer you know i'm not fully against multiplayer games i just don't really like playing with other people you know i just like playing by myself and experiencing like a new world well-written characters and amazing story you know and obviously i mean if anyone really thought that like sony was going to just abandon single player games and just focus on like live service games like no like you know sony is going to stick with making you know what makes sony sony like when you think of sony you think of the major exclusives like last of us horizon god of war you know ghost of tsushima games like that you know like that is the bread and butter that is the dna of playstation you know and so sony the only difference they're doing this generation is they're just expanding more into the multiplayer space you know and i'm totally for that as long as it doesn't hurt you know hinder the development and time and resources into the single player games you know i really don't care you know we are getting like like factions too you know and there's supposed to be like other like socom possibly and a you know horizon online game stuff like that you know so i mean the fu the future is bright you know but just for those of you who think like you know maybe you're really worried that sony is you know starting to focus on multiplayer and just you know gonna put single player games on the back burner you know rest assured that's not gonna happen you know sony can do both at the same time and i fully trust sony you know that's why they acquired bungie that's why they acquired haven studios you know because they're really good at making live service multiplayer games you know so yeah i thought this was very interesting what do you guys think how do you feel about herman Holst reassuring fans that sony will continue to always develop single player games does that get you excited or do you really not care and do you mainly just play multiplayer games Moving on to the final topic in the video, we're going to be going over a new update regarding PSVR 2. Reading from PlayStation Universe, PSVR 2 presentation due to take place at GDC 2022. The Game Developer Conference 2022 will play host to a major PSVR 2 presentation by Unity is set to focus on the device's improved graphics, performance, and cutting edge hardware. Scheduled for March 24th, the PSVR 2 presentation is titled Building Next Gen Games for PSVR 2 with Unity, and although GDC is obviously more tech focused and isn't a consumer specific show like E3 or Gamescom, it still doesn't mean we won't find out something interesting about the headset all the same. PSVR 2's design was unveiled earlier this year by Sony, and although the format holder hasn't confirmed a release date yet, it is rumored the headset will arrive in Q1 2023. The PSVR 2 controllers will employ a number of features seen in the DualSense controller, such as haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Sony has also launched the official PSVR 2 website, and you're able to sign up to receive updates on the device if you fancy it. So yeah, I mean, some very exciting news for those of you who are fans of, you know, VR. Now, me, myself, I don't really care too much. You know, I mean, I am interested a little bit. I never played you know the first psvr you know i'm probably not going to be picking up the psvr 2 when it eventually releases it's just not my cup of tea you know but obviously like there is a huge market for vr you know like it's not dead you know so i mean i am excited i'm not going to be checking out this event on thursday you know but yeah i mean so this thursday there's going to be you know gdc taking place which is mainly for like tech and apparently this is usually whenever sony makes like their big deals like their big acquisitions like behind the closed doors usually around this time apparently this is when it happens so i mean i mean we should be on the lookout for maybe any leaks or anything coming out maybe any deal sony strikes you know but i feel like the main focus is going to be on you know you know psvr2 so yeah, what do you guys think? Down below, let me know how you feel about a new presentation for PSVR 2 is happening later this week. Are you going to be checking it out? Just let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like and consider subscribing if you're new by turning on the post notification bell so you don't miss my next upload. Until next time, guys, take care.